to blink data. We have so many data types around us. We have YouTube, we have Excel sheets, we have newspaper websites, we fly and book tickets online, we read books online, we do a lot of shopping online using the same Visa card, cross the web. A good example would be when you hover your cursor over a word in a website, a pop-up appears, it shows you the definition and synonyms. Expedia.com, hotel booking, flight booking, the good example, Alibaba.com, we have booking.com, JSTOR, Library and Archives Canada, they all use link data. A perfect example for link data would be Google Flights, how they are able to integrate all the airlines across the world with their single platform. Now you can see all the summaries of all the flights at one place, which is a perfect example of link data. As you can see the price on the airline website and Google is exactly the same. In order to make sure link data is working, there are a couple of standards and rules you need to follow. URI is identifier, which is broken down into URL, URN. URL has different modules or components, HTTP, which is protocol or service, and we have delimiters, and we have world by web, which is known as half name. Then we have subdomain or domain. In FTP, we have port number also. And then we have directory of the service, in which the file is situated, and then the file name itself. As you can see, URL and URN are two parts. Together they make URI. I would say URN is more of a dynamic nature. It has a query string in it. You're looking for a flight. It would have flight related information. You're looking for a book. It will have ISP in it. So every industry has different kind of standards. In order for linked data to work perfectly and understood globally, you need to follow certain metadata containers, content standards, transmission standards and protocols and identifiers we just talked about.